There are moments in the automotive world when a single sentence, spoken almost casually, carries the weight of an entire future. This time it came from Elon Musk himself. No charts, no long explanation, just confidence. It's an incredibly good, good design. The Tesla engineering team is amazing. A quiet certainty wrapped in a simple confirmation. The Tesla Model 2 will start at $10,575. And then came the second blow that the design is not just good, but incredibly, unbelievably good. But here's the question your instincts probably screamed the moment you heard it. What does it truly mean when Tesla claims the lowest priced electric vehicle in America has design lineage tied to machines like the Porsche 911 and the Jaguar F-Type? What exactly is happening inside this car? And does any of it translate to actual usefulness for everyday drivers, especially the people who need comfort, stability, and trust in a car more than anything else? Today, everything becomes clear. Because Tesla didn't just shrink a car, they reinvented one. Quietly, precisely, piece by piece, with the discipline of aircraft engineers and the boldness of designers who refuse to be ordinary. And as strange as it sounds, the Model 2 has been hiding engineering tricks that only now make sense when you understand the philosophy behind them. If you want to stay ahead of Tesla's breakthroughs, join the Torque Element community by tapping subscribe. You'll be one more person on the road to 200,000 subscribers. And around the world, people will be learning the future before their friends even hear rumors. But for now, sit back. Because what you're about to discover reshapes everything you think you know about affordable electric cars. Tesla's first impossible task was to merge two worlds that don't normally meet. On one side, the surgical precision of a Porsche chassis, the kind of rotation and balance that makes turning a corner feel like slicing a knife through silk. On the other side, the Jaguar F-Type silhouette, a flowing, elegant line that brings calm and confidence to even the simplest drive. It seems absurd at first, a Porsche and a Jaguar inside the cheapest Tesla ever built. Yet somehow, Tesla pulled it off. The secret lies in something their engineers call scaled dynamics. Not copying, not cloning, but scaling down the underlying physics that make high-end sports cars feel alive. You take the low polar moment principle of the Porsche 911. The way the car rotates effortlessly because mass is concentrated near its center, and you adjust it to fit a compact footprint. Then, you take the Jaguar F-Type's signature long-flowing proportions and translate them into a smaller, more practical silhouette, without losing the emotional curve that makes a car feel graceful even when parked. Instead of chasing bragging rights, Tesla targeted a reduction in rotational inertia of roughly 10 to 15 percent compared to competitor compacts. That doesn't sound dramatic until you drive it, because that kind of reduction is what allows a driver in their 60s or 70s to make a steady lane change on a crowded interstate without wobble or hesitation. It's the difference between confidence and concern. Weight distribution tells an even stronger story. Most compacts put far too much weight up front. Tesla didn't. They aimed for a balance near 48% in the front and 52% in the rear, almost identical to classic sports architecture. But the purpose here isn't racing. It's stability, predictability, comfort at highway speed for older drivers who don't want surprises. By shifting battery modules slightly rearward, and using roughly 55 pounds of tuned structural mass in the front subframe, Tesla engineered a car that behaves neutrally in corners without ever feeling nervous or twitchy. Then comes the wheelbase. The Model 2 is expected to have a wheelbase longer than the average compact by somewhere between half a foot and a full foot, depending on final specs. That one change transforms the ride. Longer wheelbase equals smoother travel over uneven roads, the potholes in Chicago at 3 in the morning, the cracked pavement near Phoenix, the expansion joints on Florida bridges. A longer wheelbase absorbs these without bouncing passengers around. But here, where Tesla got clever, they preserved short overhangs, the small distances that sit beyond the front and rear wheels. Short overhangs make parking easy, maneuvering easy, 
Fitting into tight New York City garage is easy. It's a balance that only works when a car is engineered, not assembled. Suspension tuning seals the deal. Tesla blended the firmness of Porsche-style anti-roll control with the comfort of Jaguar Multilink Grace. Spring rates softened by roughly 15%. Anti-roll stiffness increased by roughly 10%. It sounds contradictory, softer springs, stiffer bars, Yet the combination gives the Model 2 a ride that floats just enough to protect aging backs, while still keeping the body from swaying on curves. Steering behavior is another masterpiece of restraint. Tesla gave the Model 2 a steering ratio around 10% quicker than typical compacts, making the car feel responsive but not jumpy. And then they layered software damping on top so the wheel's reaction depends on actual speed. Slow speeds. Gentle, cooperative, predictable. Highway speeds, firm, centered, trustworthy. If you're someone who remembers how cars used to feel back in the 80s or 90s, where steering communicated instead of guessing, Tesla is bringing that sensation back, but modernized, refined, and incredibly stable. Aerodynamics might be the silent hero. Tesla targets a drag coefficient somewhere around 0.22 to 0.24. That's nearly sports car territory, and it matters more for older drivers than you think. On a 250-mile range vehicle, a drag improvement of just a few hundredths can give you 8 to 12 more miles at highway speeds. Those miles are peace of mind. Those miles prevent late-night charger searches. Those miles make retirement road trips feel safe instead of stressful. Inside the Model 2, Tesla borrowed from Jaguar again, not in shape, but in feel, the tactile hierarchy, the sensations that matter most to human hands, thickened door pulls, lower dash sills, materials arranged so that everywhere your hand naturally touches feels soft, balanced, intentional. Tesla used molded foam and advanced synthetics engineered to replicate the firmness and grain of leather at a fraction of the cost. The secret. Matching texture depth within three millimeters, the threshold where the human hand can no longer distinguish synthetic from genuine premium material. The goal isn't to trick you. The goal is to give you premium feel without premium price. But the biggest emotional trick Tesla pulled was recreating the feeling of iconic sports cars without copying their shape. Electric powertrains offer freedom gas cars never had. When you don't have an engine up front, you can redesign weight distribution from scratch. When you don't have a drive shaft tunnel, you can lower the floor for easier entry. When you don't have exhaust routing, seats can be placed exactly where they optimize vision, reach, and comfort. That's how Tesla built a car that feels carved from sports DNA, but drives like a calm, predictable everyday partner. A car where older drivers rediscover a kind of joy they didn't expect in a budget vehicle. Now, if you had to choose only one engineering priority for a budget performance EV, which would it be? Type 1 for steering precision that makes twisting roads feel smooth instead of stressful. Type 2 for suspension comfort that prevents fatigue on long trips. Type 3 for aerodynamic efficiency that squeezes every last mile from the battery. Your response tells Tesla and us what real drivers actually value, not what automakers assume they do. But engineering mastery means nothing if you can't even get inside the car comfortably. And this brings us to one of Tesla's strangest, boldest, and most controversial decisions, fitting Falcon wing doors into the most affordable car they have ever built. The Model X nearly bankrupted Tesla perfecting its Falcon wings, they were beautiful but wildly expensive. So how, then, does the lowest-cost Tesla get a version of those doors? The answer is purpose-driven simplification. Most people don't realize how much strain traditional doors create for older passengers. Twisting to enter, twisting to exit, hitting your head on the frame, struggling in tight garage spaces. Tesla wanted a solution that wasn't just cool but practical. Something that made life easier, especially for people over 50 who value comfort far more than gimmicks. Falcon wing doors solve this beautifully. 
with shoulder clearance increased by roughly 16 to 24 inches compared to conventional doors, entry becomes easy even in narrow spaces. You step in, not drop in. You step out, not twist out. But Tesla couldn't use the expensive multi-axis motorized architecture from the Model X, so they rebuilt the system from scratch. The Model 2 doors use a single motor supported by mechanical counterbalance arms and overcenter dampers, a system inspired by light aircraft hatches. This reduces motor load by around 60% and cuts the number of parts nearly in half compared to the original Falcon wing design. Instead of aerospace aluminum, Tesla uses stamped high-strength steel wrapped in composite skins. This reduces cost per door by roughly a third while maintaining durability. Each door stays within a weight budget between roughly 26 and 40 pounds, light enough to avoid destabilizing the vehicle's center of gravity. Sensors ensure safe operation. Water seal channels prevent rain intrusion even under high-speed spray. Older passengers no longer struggle with bending, twisting, or maneuvering around heavy, swinging doors. This is not luxury. This is dignity-based engineering. Now imagine you're parked between two large SUVs at a Texas grocery store in midsummer heat. You're holding a bag of milk. Your knees ache a bit from walking. Instead of forcing a door open and squeezing through, you press a button. The door rises upward smoothly, giving you space, comfort, and an easy path in or out. That is what thoughtful engineering feels like. But doors, no matter how advanced, sit on top of a structure, the body of the car. And Tesla's biggest challenge with the Model 2 wasn't suspension tuning or door mechanics. It was giga casting. Giga casting, in theory, is the holy grail of automotive manufacturing. A single aluminum casting replaces dozens of stamped pieces. You get less weight, fewer welds, more consistency and lower cost, but the dream came with a nightmare. This is why the Model 2 doesn't creak after five years, why the floor doesn't loosen, why the ride stays consistent. It is structural honesty, the kind that lasts long past the excitement of owning a new car. Now ask yourself something important. Does affordability still mean compromise? Or has Tesla proved that cost and quality no longer oppose each other? If you believe a $10,575 electric car can genuinely rival and outperform vehicles twice its price, type the price in alphabet form in the comments. $10,575. Because when you do, you're joining a moment bigger than one car. It's a shift in expectation. A refusal to accept that budget means bare minimum. The Tesla Model 2 is not perfect. It will evolve, but it has already changed the rules. It offers sports car-inspired balance, dignity-centered entry and exit, structural integrity once considered unattainable at this price point. And more than anything, it offers a new standard, practicality with beauty, efficiency with grace, affordability with genuine engineering depth. This is Torque Element, and the next video drops in 12 hours. Make sure you don't miss what's coming next.